kingdom man, a part of God's plan. My father is the king, he owns everything. I'm a real man, I'm a kingdom. Just for the the men and all those who are listening, let me greet you in the wonderful and precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And there is no God like our God. I'm just going to, for a few minutes, um, discuss why the male man suffer. Why the male man suffer. And you can follow me, um, Genesis 2, 15 to 16. And then the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to tend and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. There are five, the five purposes of the male. First of all, God placed him in Eden, um, which is the presence of God. And God gave him work, in other words, ergon, to become vision, um, to cultivate, improve, maximize potential, bring out the best, to protect, guard, defend, and cover, teach, command, and train and guide. Now, it is expected of the male in his, in his household to train his family, to guide them, to, to build them up, and to have a relationship with them um, from the perspective of, of God's word, that he should live according to the word of God, being God's presence, and working. Any woman who takes a man who's not in God's presence and not working, you're in trouble. So all those who are listening to me, women and the men, men, make sure that you're in God's presence and you are fulfilling your work. A job is not your work. Work means to become. You need to read that in the, in the Genesis again. The male's first command, the first command to the male, work to become, to manifest yourself, to reveal yourself. Whatever God purpose you to become, you can never change that. But again, you have a choice, you have a will. And you could decide, like Jonah, when God says, go and tell those people of the wicked land what they've been doing and killing women and take, doing all kinds of things. You can choose not to go. But God guarantee you that if it's God's will that you have to go, God will make sure that wherever you go, you'll be troubled. And then you have to turn around and go back to where God called you. So what I'm saying to men today, think about those who you're leading. Think about your children. Think about the community that you're, you're impacting. Think about the light that you are shining. Make sure it is a, it's a light. It, it is the light, a good light. In fact, the word light means information. It doesn't it mean um, to see. It's about information. Let your light so shine before men. That is information. And us men today, we need the proper information from Scripture. Men of God need to be led by the Spirit, taught by the Spirit, be directed and be guided by the Holy Spirit, and nothing else. That's what we need today. Men be on fire for God and doing what God calls us to be. And that's what we're doing. And you, you pray for me. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm a kingdom man, a part of God's plan. My father is the king, he owns everything. I'm a real man, I'm a kingdom.